All right, Joe, looking at the Zidane issue, we can think of many reasons why he would want to leave. I think it's inevitable. He's not going to tell you now. He's been, he said, we'll see at the end of the season. Mm. Um, this is a team that's packed with veterans, with older players. I don't think they're playing the kind of football that Zidane wants to play, even when they win. I don't yeah. think they did it last season either. And I think in some ways it's a good time. It's a good time to move on. If, if you're Real Madrid... You can say, all right, let me get a younger manager, a different style of football. Then I can, I can sell people on, on the notion that I'm rebuilding. But my question is, are Real Madrid in a position to rebuild? Because if he has indeed, I mean, I don't, I don't know if he has extended Modric or not. He says he has, but yeah. who, who knows? He also said that there were 40 Chelsea fans outside Stamford Bridge. So <laughs> I don't know what's up with when Florentino Perez talks. But when you look at this... Even if somehow they, you know, they sign Mbappe or, 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 or Holland, if you're Zidane, is this still appealing? Because you're just going to have a lot of veteran players who you're close to and who have been loyal for you and have done a job for you. You're not going to be able to move all these guys. Yeah. And I, I mean, I could see him wanting to take time off after everything that's happened. I think I think he's been really hurt by all the criticism this season, and there's been a lot. And I think it it, it took a lot of bullets in the press because at times they were not playing well, they were not winning uh, the games that should have won. Although if you look at it, they've done really well in the Clasico, they've done really well in the Madrid derby. Okay, the Champions League, maybe that game, those two games against Chelsea and against I Atalanta, think, and against Atalanta, yeah, but. He still went through, yeah. but you know, yeah. it's like, and I think he didn't feel the support that he should have had from the club, definitely. Well, what more could the club have done? You, you, you know, you, I think I think there were times where he could have done with the public support of like, you know, this is, this is Zinedine Zidane, we believe in him, we believe yeah, in this team, which, which they didn't do, which they he, usually he, do. They often do, but like, it's equally, it's not like Butragueño and these other people were coming out and saying, well, Zidane, we'll see, right? They all talk. I mean, the difference yeah, is, but even when we talk about public support, I, and look, I, I think Madrid and the media bubble around Madrid is, is, a, particular, is a particular animal, right? Yeah. Because we know how strong Marca, uh, especially, and, and also us yeah, are in, yeah. in, in Madrid. Um, the old line is that, you know, they get fed stuff. And, and by the way, people have a negative connotation about, oh, you know, they're controlled by Real Madrid because Real Madrid feeds them stuff. It's no different to what any other club does. I mean, uh, I'm going to lift the lid how and how we do our jobs. There are people at football clubs who are paid to give in, paid by the clubs to give informations, oh, steer. uh, information to, or steers to journalists on background, right? Yeah. So it's no different than what happens elsewhere. I think the difference is that Real Madrid, uh, uh, Real Madrid, Marca and us have so much more power. Mark and us, and the radio stations, you know, whether it's yeah. uh, El, El Cero, El Chiringuito, or, or Jose Manuel, Manuel de, de la Morena, El Larguero. Um, so these people are fed things. I, should they have fed a stronger line? I don't know, because the reality is Real Madrid were playing really, really badly for most of the season. Yeah, I, I don't think Zidane was say, taking it personally there. He could say I couldn't have had more. Remember so that press conference where he was like, I've had enough, when he just came back from COVID, when he had COVID, and he came back and said, I've had enough of all that criticism. I've had enough of all the negativity on me. And, and I think he was right. And for Zidane to come out, you know, he, he gets angry, but rarely in a press conference like this. Right. And certainly rare, very rarely as a manager, as a player and the red cards and everything. That was different. So I think for him to, to, to come out like this at the press, in a, in a press conference and said, I've had enough of all your criticism, all that negativity around me and around the team, he must have really felt it. And I don't think that has changed much since January or February that was, until now. And I think pretty much the idea would be if they win La Liga next weekend, and then after they said, you know what, we want two La Liga in a row now, which with that squad, despite all the talent, but it's an aging squad, as you said. It's a squad that he could have done with far more reinforcement than what he had, with Eden Hazard being pretty much injured for two seasons, Karim Benzema being the age that he is, and same with Cruz, etc. All the injuries this season at the back, if you look again at the defence oh, against crazy, Athletic yeah. Bilbao, it was crazy. And I think he would be like, this is a great achievement. Trust me, over, thir over 38 games, this is a great achievement. I can go now with my head high, and I can move on to something. You can bring on Allegri or bring in Raul or bring in whoever you want, but this is me done. I've done great for this club in my two spells. 
Champions League and La Liga's, and this is it. And I think th this is probably the way I would see it. If they don't win La Liga, then he goes on to a blank season, which is no idea. But he'll still leave with his head held high. I because would think he's so. And I think anybody who looks at this objectively will realize that what Real Madrid have achieved this season, even if they, even if they don't win the title, it's not down to Zidane. Zidane was was mm. was a value added this season. Even you know, in the past, people said he's not flexible enough. He's changed systems. Yeah. He's tried different things all season long. He did everything he could, and the reality is they're still here, 90 minutes away from the title. And, and, and I think that is an achievement with everything that, uh, that they've been through. Yeah, I agree. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.